In September, Kanye West that whose relationship with the fashion industry has always been a bit tense caused quite a stir at his Yeezy Season 4 show when the rapper asked attendees to travel to Roosevelt Island and then wait outside for more than an hour for the show to begin. During the presentation itself, several models fainted, and one stumbled, eventually helped by someone sitting in the front row, an editor from The Cut vowed to never attend a West fashion show again, the general sentiment was one of, well, that was exhausting. Though, of course, that did not stop the majority of attendees from INSDiagramming photos of Tiana Taylor walking or of the Kardashians sitting front row. This year's presentation for Season 5, held Wednesday afternoon at Pier 59 in Chelsea, felt like something of a deliberate course correction for West. Whereas almost every aspect of the Season 4 experience was dialed up, let's do it on an island, this fashion show felt, well, like a fashion show. For starters, it took place indoors, and it began at 3.23pm, only 23 minutes after it was scheduled to. It took place inside a dark room, many attendees used the glow of their cell phones in order to find their seats. There seemed to be a sense of relief, among those seated, that we were not subject to full blast wind machines or ear piercing music or anything of the sort. Someone behind me said to her friend, this is so much better than last season, and the show had not even started. The presentation itself was brief and lacking in the, let's say, Kardashian-ness of former shows. There was a large black pillar in the center of the room, making it impossible to see who was seated across the room from where you were seated. Kim Kardashian West in a maroon ensemble was seated in the front row, but only about a fourth of the audience in the room could see her. And if Kim Kardashian West is present, but you can't take a covered cell phone photograph of her, is she really there at all? Chloe, Courtney, Chris, and Kendall were all absent, the latter because she was walking in a different show at the time. The show consisted of a video projection played on the four sides of the pillar, with each model on screen showcased for about 15 seconds. West did not premiere any new music of his own at the show which was instead soundtracked by the dream singing Jay Holiday's Bed, a song he co wrote. There was not a Sophia Ritchie or Bella Hadid or Haley Baldwin among the model roster, which seemed to be a deliberate choice. The clothes in this year's collection designed with a Calabasas theme featured a whole lot of oversized coats, knee-high boots and graphic long-sleeved t-shirts, also the attire of many of those watching the show. After about 10 minutes of the video projection, the models entered, in the flesh, for a quick lap around the pillar, and then they exited. The lights turned up, and there was a brief moment of confusion, as the music continued to play, would West emerge from a trap door in the ceiling? Would Kylie Jenner, seated in the front row, stand up and start handing out lip kits? Would the pillar deconstruct before our eyes, revealing bronze statues of Kanye and Kim? No, none of that. West did not even emerge for a bow. Instead, Kim stood up and made her way out, signaling for the rest of us to follow.